Now, legislators from both COD and Jubilee this morning, through their lawyers, have filed an appeal against a decision to have them detained until Friday over alleged hate remarks. The legislators are arguing that their arrest goes against the right to post bail, a claim that the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions refutes, claiming that the legislators will interfere with police investigations. The eight, Moses Kuria, Ferdinand Waititu, Aisha Jumwa, Florence Mutua, Johnston Mudama, Jeanette Mohamed, Timothy Bosire, and Kimani Ngunjiri were arrested yesterday following public outcry over alleged remarks made in public believed to amount to incitement and hate speech. Well, our reporter Timothy Otieno has been closely following up that story for us and now joins us via phone to give us updates on uh, what really happened in court today. Thank you for joining us. He is joining us from our city center studios. Thank you for joining us, Timothy Otieno. I understand you were in court uh, in the morning. Uh, just take us through what happened there as uh, the legislators and their lawyers appeared. Well, as you said, the legislators and their lawyers, of course, have filed for an appeal against the division to have been detained up to Friday. They presented the, the, the paper uh, to the High Court uh, this morning at around 12.30 p.m. A case of the case will be determined and will be heard and determined later on in the afternoon, even as the court speaks to find out that they will be released or whether they will still continue remaining in police custody up to Friday when there are case against uh, alleged remarks uh, bordering on hate speech and incitement will be had. I think it's important to note uh, that the legislators uh, did raise concern that they have not been allowed uh, to get into contact with anyone from the outside including their own family members. Family members and, uh, had, uh, uh, some of the legislators' legislator. family members had gone to Pangani Police Station uh, to talk to their kin. The police had prevented that from happening, and so they have been isolated as well as detained uh, since last evening, even as we wait for uh, whatever the High Court will have decided uh, in regards to whether they will be released or whether they'll continue to remain under police custody up to Friday. Akisa, remember, uh, the application by the Office of the Di Director of Public Prosecution was insisting that the aid should not be let out based on the fact that they can and they might uh, interfere with the evidence against them. The, the DPP's office insisting that these are indeed public figures and politicians who wield a lot of influence within the society and that releasing them would go against uh, the gains made by the police and the efforts towards uh, uh, in investigating this matter to its entirety. Uh, but of course the defense team insisting that uh, hate speech and or alleged hate speech and insightful remarks is a charge that is a uh, liable for bail and bond and therefore uh, they should not be held uh, for po under police custody any further, insisting that the police indeed already have the uh, video footage uh, of some of the members alleged to have made the insightful remarks and therefore there is no need for keeping them under police custody any further because th this video evidence is already under police custody and uh, chances of interfering with the same are slim. So those two arguments will be presented before the High Court this afternoon, even as wait for the magistrate uh, to give further uh, direction in regards to this matter, Akisa. This is a matter of uh, a lot of public interest. There has been conversations on the social media with regards to the same as well. And this is the largest number of legislators to be uh, locked in for a night. Or if it doesn't go as uh, they plan, it would be four days. What would be the general mood in the court, especially with the legislators in question? A lot at stake, Akisa. Remember, this is not the first time uh, politicians or the political class, members of the political class, have been accused of uh, spewing hate speech or remarks uh, that are bordering on incitement. In the past, we have indeed seen most of them appear before the courts, but most of the time they are either released on bond 
or uh, the National Cohesion and Integration Commission mm -hmm. often uh, requires them to issue an apology. Many believe that this is usually a slap in the hand for what many term as very grave offenses that mm -hmm. could really go a long way in dividing the country. So really this is the first time we're seeing really stern action being taken against alleged perpetrators of hate and insightful remarks. Mm -hmm. And it remains to be seen as to how far or how long this will hold. Will they be released on bond or bail? Will they be remanded up to Friday? And after that, will the charges presented before them be enough for a conviction? Remember, Akisa, as it stands and according to the Constitution, uh, hate remarks attract a fine of up to one million or uh, three years in jail. Of course, really uh, a lot of questions being asked as to whether how these cases will go. And remember, these are summonses that were issued some after 24 hours of the time alleged to have made the remarks. Uh, for the case of Moses Kuri and Ferdinand Waititu, mm -hmm. they're alleged to have made insightful and hateful remarks against Kwan Lee Darayla Odinga during an event on Sunday. Mm -hmm. They were being summoned uh, more than 24 hours later, and this was only after the court coalition issued a press conference uh, challenging, uh, uh, asking questions as to why the Jubilee legislators had not yet been captured. So really, a lot uh, has been spun into this uh, uh, issue so far, but of course, this is a matter that is really uh, the country will be looking forward to see how it goes. Remember, it's just about 15, 14 months to the next general election. Akisa, this is a country uh, that has seen post-election violence mm -hmm. that has been attributed to hateful remarks and many will be uh, looking to to see how the courts will be handling this issue even as we head into the next uh, general elections, Akisa. All right, uh, thank you very much, Timothy. We'll definitely be joining you later on, even as we await uh, the ruling there uh, by the High Court. Timothy Otino there joining us from our city center studios. Now, still on that story, situation has normalized in Kisumu after last, na last night's protests uh, following the arrest and the prosecution of court members of parliament over alleged hate speech. A section of youth in Kondele area took to the streets last night to protest the arrest of the MPs and lit bonfires along some road in the lakeside town. We're now joined by our reporter in Kisumu, Rashid Ronald, for details about the situation in the town. Thank you for joining us on News Desk, Rashid. And uh, just uh, kindly give us a recap on what really happened last night and what is the situation as of now. Uh, yes, indeed, Akisa, the situation is back to normal in Kisumu. And as you put it, last night, that was from 7 p.m., uh, that's when the protest began. And if you ask me, it was a handful of demonstrators, but the number grew big as, as time went. They started by lighting a bonfire at the Condele roundabout before barricading the road with uh, stones and other objects. Uh, police who were by then were watching from a distance, but had to come in when uh, the protests, uh, the protesters turned rowdy. Uh, they actually police had to fire in the air and they even held uh, hold the tear gas at the demonstrators as they dispatched them. And uh, earlier on, uh, the protesters had even started demanding cash from passerby uh, before you were allowed to access that road. And uh, this actually affected many people. And most of the victims or people who were affected were people coming from uh, their work stations on their, on, their, on their way home. And even some of the students who were coming from school by then uh, that evening. But uh, by around uh, nine, uh, the, the police had actually dispersed them. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Rashid. We'll definitely be looking out to get more information on the situation in Kisumu.